Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. Guys, long overdue. I missed springtime favorites. So we're gonna go right on into summer, spring slash summer favorites. I haven't done a favorites video since Christmas. So we're gonna do that today. Everything a little bit of everything that I've been loving lately. I'm gonna share it today. So if you wanna check it out, please keep watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for being here. All right, friends, so it's favorites video time. Don't ask me why it's taken me so long <laughs> to do one of those. If you don't know, we moved into this house. May, was it May? It's been like a blur. The summer has been a blur. I'm still lots to do. Still no furniture in my living room. <laughs> so many things. So bear with me. I've got a lot of goodies to share today. First things first, I wanna talk about my favorite pillow of all time. This video is sponsored by Sleeping Glow. This is the Omnia. This is my ride or die. So if you've been following me for a while, you know my love for this pillow. If not, I'll be honest. I originally wanted this pillow because if you don't know, I am a lash addict. I like to apply my at-home lash extensions once a week and my goal was always longevity. I never wanted to apply more than once a week. So this pillow is designed for anti-aging, but it's a game changer if you wear lashes like me. So I am a side sleeper. I know it's not the best for anti-aging. I've tried for years to train myself for sleeping on my back. It's just, it's not gonna happen and I accept that now. So I can at least diminish the amount of sleep wrinkles I have and increase the longevity of my lashes with this bad boy. Okay, so if you are a side sleeper, it has these cutouts, it's hard to see with the pillowcase, has these cutouts in the side so it does not smash your face. I'm probably gonna get makeup on it. It doesn't smash your face and it doesn't smash your lashes. So most people that lose their lashes is because these outside corners uh, lift because they're sleeping on their face. It's got these cutouts on both sides so you can roll over. <laughs> and you can still not squish your face. And it's got, of course, the silk pillowcase. So again, good for your hair, good for your skin. Now I just can't sleep without it. And when I am like in a hotel and not traveling with my pillow, I swear I wake up so puffy from sleeping on my face with all of these lines that I normally don't have and it's because they're sleep wrinkles. So if you think you just have a lot of wrinkles and you're still sleeping on a normal pillowcase, it could just be sleep wrinkles. It's very common from all these, you can get them here, around here, even here, through here. It's all just from your gravity and your face getting kind of smushed into that pillowcase. It's never good for it. So it's just one way. Consider it part of my skincare regimen to sleep on this pillow and frequently wash the pillowcases. So I do have multiples because I'm not really good at doing laundry and immediately putting it back on. But that is the Omnia, that is my favorite. And for the rest of the month of July, special code to get you an extra discount. So I'll put that here and in the drop box below the video. So thank you for sleeping glow. Always being awesome and supporting my channel. All right guys, let's get into it. Since we're already talking skincare and I know you guys understand my love of skincare I'll be honest I've been on kind of a skincare I don't know what to call it rampage this summer I don't know there's so many things I can't control about my life right now when it comes to moving and getting furniture I ordered earlier the year in this year and just I'm helpless right there's one thing I can control and that's my nightly skincare regimen. And I have been reading a lot of books. You can see some of them up there. I've read six books in the past, probably a little over a month. 
all on skincare. Let me tell you, if you don't want to want to buy skincare, don't read books on skincare. But I've learned a lot and I've also realized that not all skincare books are equivalent. Um, and there's a lot of opinions, um, depending on who's writing the book. So always do your research on the author. I will say that much. So I want to share you guys, share with you guys a couple of my favorite books that I did read the two I would recommend the most and some of the many skincare products I'm currently testing the ones I'm loving the most right now. So let's do books real quick. We're going to start with the easiest one for me because to me, if I was to write a book, it would be more similar to this first one. Actually, it'd probably be a mix of these two. And this first one is by two chemists, skincare, cosmetic, skincare formulators um, that I've followed for a really long time. If you don't follow them and you like to know more science, I highly recommend um, following them over at Chemist Confessions over on IG. But this is Skincare Decoded and it's written by both of them. And it has a lot more like science background, understanding really more about um, the skin and what's needed, what's not more about, I guess like, it's just like debunks a lot. So they're kind of known for debunking information, a lot of wrong information you see on the internet. And then I read, this was one of the first ones I read. And after reading a couple more, I'm like, gosh, it shocked me how much wrong information was in some of these books that because it was written from a point of view, like opinion. And there's a lot of opinions on skincare if you don't know, but this is more science-based, but then they'll also share what's worked for them and what hasn't worked for them, which I really appreciated. Highly recommend the Skincare Decoded if you want more science background. If you like just everything. Now, this one is strongly opinionated, but in the best way, because I really agree with her opinion on 99% of everything. If you haven't heard of Caroline, um, she has a huge following over on social, and this is her second edition of her famous book, and this has got a lot of information in it, but it's really good, especially if you are brand new to skincare. I would say start with something like this, like you're gonna learn so much. I read this book so fast. I find her highly entertaining as well, so that always helps. Um, I love watching her over on IG, but it just has a lot of like no BS. It's a lot of no BS information. I agree with almost everything she says. She's She hates makeup wipes. I think they're okay in certain situations, but I, it made me wanna try some new things that I hadn't tried yet. After listening to her point of view why, she has a lot of background in just the beauty industry at large. So, and she just came out with her own skincare line, which now I'm dying to try called Skin Rocks. So stay tuned. I'm sure I will test some stuff from that. So those books are really cool. I just recently got into reading about skincare, but I thoroughly enjoy it. I feel like I pick up something from every book I read. So uh, if you have any good recommendations, I would love to hear it. Let's get into what skincare I've been loving. Let's start with something easy. The most recommended asked question is always SPFs. And you guys know I'm always testing sunscreens. And this summer, I will say the best I found is definitely this Beat the Sun by Crave Beauty. There's other really good ones I found, but if you're wanting something silicone free, this by far beats them all. The texture, the oh, like I've seen so many awards and people talking about this sunscreen and not caring that it doesn't have silicones. I care because of under the makeup, but it wears beautifully. So I highly recommend this one and then I feel like it's super affordable as well. Summer favorites, I can't go without saying, I haven't talked about this one all summer this year. And just in case you are one of the people that suffers from being in an extremely humid climate in the summer, trying to wear your 3D foundation, or you are a heavy sweater, or you work out and have to work out with your makeup, 
any of those things, I would recommend the Carpe, and this is the Sweat Absorbing Face Lotion. I use this like a primer. So I would do all my skincare, wear my SPF, and then right before my makeup after that is set, I would apply this like a primer. I swear I've even put it on the back of my neck before baseball games. It has silica in it, which will absorb that extra moisture. So they do, they just came out with an actual face primer. Don't get that one. That one does have silicones, but this one does not have any silicones that that really affect longevity. Um, it works really well under 3D. I have tested it. Okay, let's go back to SPF for a second. Please ignore the fact that I completely destroyed this bottle. Um, it was in my bag for a baseball tournament. Something else in my bag leaked and took off the entire back, which makes me so sad, but that's okay. It's kind of a mess, but I shared this in a reel. This is the Naked Sundays High Gla Oh my gosh, half the words are gone. Hydrating Glow Mist SPF 50. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. This is like a setting spray for all my peeps who do not reapply their SPF. So I use this over the makeup in the summer when I know I am maybe don't need like full protection. That sounds bad. I have my makeup on right now. If I was about to go to a baseball game for my kids, which I am doing later, I would probably use something I could make sure I get fully protected, meaning like a sunscreen stick, something like that over my makeup. Um, this, in my opinion, is comparable more to an SPF powder. You have to apply a very large amount of any of those SPF powders to get the protection labeled on the bottle. This one too, you just gotta be generous with it. So it's SPF 50 plus, but like this said, I wanna say it says like seven, Yeah, <laughs> that number's still there. Seven times you're supposed to spray my face. I did like double that, okay? So just be generous if you know you're gonna be going outside. Otherwise, on a typical day, if I have my SPF on, I apply my makeup, and then say later I'm gonna go run errands, I would just spray this. It's been past two hours, you need to reapply your SPF. This gives a beautiful glow to the skin, does not affect your makeup at all. I'm really enjoying this for summer, especially reapplication. It's it's really good. So the Naked Sundays, I hadn't tried anything from their brand and I ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, they have some really good other SPFs that do have silicone in them, but they have a they have a really great line. I also got their lip oil. So if you know, I have many lip oils to share because lip oils are my favorite. So this one's SPF 50. And I just found myself, I kept applying lip oils and being like, this doesn't have SPF in it. So if I keep this in my purse, I keep it in my little crossbody when I am at outside, this is the only thing I will apply, an SPF lip oil. Now my second favorite, so this is the watermelon, I wanna say. Um, they have two different um, colors now. I even bought one for my daughter and this gives a little bit of a glow. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it um, and a little bit of pink tint, but not a whole lot. Um, so I got one for me and my daughter, so we both are using those at baseball games. This one is really good. So if you've ever tried um, Black Girl Sunscreen, they are notorious for making sunscreens that aren't gonna like have a white cast, right? So this is their Sun Gloss SPF 50. If you want a really beautiful gloss, this doesn't feel like there's SPF, it doesn't taste like there's SPF. I will admit this one has a little bit of a taste to it if you're a lip licker. <laughs> But this one does not, it's funny that they both have like the exact same like flat doe foot applicator. This one does not, and this one is like extremely glossy and extremely moisturizing with nothing else on your lips. That I keep this in the car and I notice myself reapplying this one even just for moisture, which I feel like there's not a lot of lip glosses out there that are just super hydrating, especially that have sunscreen. So 
I like both of these. I like the color and the glow of this one, but I love this if I just need a clear gloss or just by itself for moisture. Okay, since we're talking lip products, let's stick with lip products and then we'll go back to skincare because you guys know I have too many. So I did share this brand. <clears throat> I shared a reel showing you guys how I exfoliate my lips to get off dead skin. I don't use something like a toothbrush anymore. I feel like it's too harsh. It leads my lips to peel more often. It just doesn't work well for me. You guys know I like acids for my face. I discovered this after I started the technique that I showed you guys in that reel. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's perfect because it's meant for the exact thing I'm using these other things for. So this is by Typology. First of all, this packaging, it like takes me back to like vintage science. I don't know, I love the aesthetic. I'm always happy when stuff looks good on my counter, right? So this is the peeling, um, oh gosh, it's in French. Um, anyway, it's 2% mandelic acid plus pomegranate enzyme lip peel. So this is just, an exfoliant for your lips. It looks like a lip gloss. You just put it on. I like to use the doe foot applicator to really make sure I kind of scrub my lips with it. And then I just leave it on. And then I will top it with whatever lip product I want to put on. So it's like a way of using something safe for your lips instead of using something like a glycolic. Now, if you already have a, like a lactic acid or something like that, the reason why this is mandelic acid is because it's a very gentle acid and anything with fruit enzymes is also a very gentle exfoliator. So this is kind of like, you know, both of the best worlds and it's meant for your lips. So you don't have to worry about like licking off acids. I don't know. For some reason that always kind of worried me a little bit. So I was always really careful not to like lick my lips if I was using a glycolic, but this one is designed for lip use. So I did get the kit that came with the lip oil, which just said, I have an obsession with lip oils. And then it came with this, which is a lip mask. And so I just got the trio, which I feel like I got to try more for the money. And I will mention this company, even though it's in Paris, I believe, I got it so fast. I don't know if that means that they have a location here in the US, but it, it shipped within the same day and I was extremely impressed. It says it's made in France. I don't know. So this one's really good. It's more of a um, Vaseline type consistency. Um, it's not super thick or heavy though. It's it's like a, it's like a Vaseline. Um, I love the lip oil. They only, they had a limited number of colors, but this gives just enough color. It's like just a very nice like blush pink. So I really do like it. And I'll be honest, I sometimes just do one, two, three, put them on top of each other. This gives a little bit more hydration and staying power for the lip oil and it works really well. So I have been loving this brand. As far as overnight, I can tell why this this is a very popular product. I'll be honest, my daughter originally was like, I wanna try that lip gloss and I, I we were shopping on sephora.com um, and I was like, dang, that has good reviews. So if you don't know, I've struggled, I struggle with chapped lips my whole life. Like my lips just tend to peel very easily. So I'm always exfoliating and trying to keep them hydrated. So I've tried, I can't even tell you how many lip products I try. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. Cause my daughter's like, I want that. And I was like, well, I'll buy it. And then you can try it as well. So Summer Fridays, which has one of my favorite masks ever, the jet lag mask. I take it everywhere I travel and put it on my face on the plane. It's a great brand. They're known for their masks, but they're coming out with more and more products um, in the makeup, skincare, even an SPF kind of realm. So I wanted to try this one. This is the Lip Butter Balm. Which color is it? There it is, Pink Sugar. Um, I'm obsessed with the applicator. You see how it's kind of like curved? This is a very nourishing balm. And I say that in a way it's like, 
it's a good for overnight during the day. I put it, I, I catch myself putting this on all day, but I like it because I can put it on overnight and it will still be there in the morning, which is always my test, if you will, for like if a product hydrates my lips enough to wear overnight. So this is the pink sugar. They even have some tinted ones. This one's clear. And then I know they have a vanilla that's clear that I just bought my daughter for doing chores this summer. That was her item she wanted. And so we are both loving this Summer Fridays balm. It is good. I want to try the tinted ones next. So I can't talk, talk about lip products without talking of this that finally made a comeback and is a permanent shade. So if you're a saint lover like I am, Sunshine State is finally back for good and it's finally permanent. So I can finally just keep this in my compact year round. This is the one that is, it is just a beautiful gold shimmer, a little bit of pigment. I consider it like the epitome of the end all be all of topper shades. I'm wearing it over some other lip and cheeks. I put it over everything for just a little bit of gold shimmer and glow. So if you haven't seen that Sunshine State's now permanent, like I don't even wanna dip into this one cause it's just so pretty. Um, it's back for good baby. And I'm so happy cause if you don't know, that was my favorite shade of all time and they would bring it back once a year and it would immediately sell out. And so I couldn't ever wear it all year round. So now I will be wearing it over everything. Okay, I'm done with lip. No, I'm not. I'm not done with lip products. Lord help me, I'm sorry guys. Um, got a couple more. So, lip oils. And I wonder if you guys can recognize. The, the This is a very famous bag for when you order, you get this cute little bag with your products. Okay, I had to try these because I'd heard such great things about Merit lip oils. Have you guys tried these? Um, I got a couple of different colors. I will be honest, I can't pronounce them. <laughs> La Do, everything, I never took French. Okay, this one is like a beautiful, sheer, pinkish, reddish, it's like, my favorite, I mean, if I could show you guys all the similar type ones I have, because that's like what I love. Just like a sheer wash of color that gives me a little bit of a pop, but nothing too bright. It's what I go for in the summer. So this is Ledoux, because they came out with new shades. I should take this off and show you guys. Let's try this one first. So if you're looking for a lip oil, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg like some of those famous ones do and last a really long time. I, I barely put a dent in this one so far. These are extremely hydrating. Very like, this is why I like lip oils. They give like the smoothest texture and they're never, and they're not sticky at least. If it's a lip oil that's sticky, I won't wear it. Like never sticky. Your lips just look hydrated. Maybe that's because my lips are never hydrated, so I always want them to look like this. Oh, and I love this just touch of color. Like this is as bold as I get in the summer with my lips, guys. So the other color I got was, oh gosh, I don't know. Jete, J-E-T-E -E with a little, this one is more nude, but it's also sheer. Can you kind of see that? Maybe I should swatch them. They have like all these beautiful colors. So that is Le Du. And then sometimes I just need a little bit of a nude. See, this one's more nude, this one's more pink, but they have other options. So they're so pretty. Now that my lips are slightly stained. Is that not pretty? Just glowy, glossy. So these are the new Merit lip oils. So these are two of their brand new shades, but they have others. We'll link these down below and you do get the cute little bag with your purchase, which is always a plus. Right? Okay, now that I'm thoroughly all swatched, 
Let's go back to some skincare products because some of these are my all time favorites and I've never talked to them before. Okay, never talked about them before. Is that what I said? First, a new favorite. There was a lot of hype about this product. I was like, hmm. I really researched ingredients and I was like, dang, that does have a lot of good ingredients in it and it sold out. And so of course I'm like, if it's that good, maybe I need to try it. And it's not my first product I've tried from them. So Road, this is the Haley Bieber line. I'll be honest, I'm always a little, little hesitant for celebrity skincare. I feel like everyone has one right now, right? But I'm telling you, whoever is her chemist is good and her stuff is known to be very good and it's all very bar barrier nourishing. So it's all about replenishing the skin's barrier function and I'm all about that right now. That is like, like my goal every day when I'm doing my skincare. So the peptide lip treatment, I know this is like a ride or die for a lot of people. I bought all three of the ones. This is the watermelon. Gave one to my daughter. They're good. Again, I try every <laughs> lip product known to man. They're good. They don't really last on me overnight, but I use them during the day. They're peptide lip treatments. So over time, those peptides will help fullness as well. Now this product is going to be a holy grail. It is really good. So this is the glazing milk. And you guys have heard me say a million times about hair, cat hair, um, about ceramides and this is like a ceramide essence and they call it glazing milk because it's literally like a milk and i'm telling you i would rub this all over my body if it wasn't expensive you use this as an essence so if you don't know an essence is um similar to a toner you use it right after cleansing now this is really going to add a lot of a lot of hydration and protection to your skin's barrier so I would say if you have dry skin, definitely try something like this. I don't have dry skin and I'm still loving the plumpness and oh, the hydration factor is out of this world. So I love a good essence though. If you've never used an essence before, I would say this would be an amazing one to try for your first one because any skin type could use something like this. No one has ever said my skin is too hydrated, ever. Uh, and if you think it is, it's because, and you have oily skin, it's actually the opposite. You need more hydration. So this can help balance that more <laughs> hydration. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you guys, if you, if you learn anything from me, just hydrate your skin, hydrate it, more hydrate it. So here is a popular opinion that I have. I do not think hyaluronic acid is the best hydrator in the skincare world at all. I think it's overused. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad and I think it's fine that it's in everything, but I don't think anyone needs a separate hyaluronic acid serum. If they look at their ingredients, you probably have more than enough. That being said, what I think is a better hydrator is glycerin, which again is in a lot of things if you look at your ingredients, but this is one of the best hydrating serums of all time and there's not very many lines that I think everything they've done is superb and this is one of the companies I think everything they've done now granted they only have three products but everything they've done is superb so this is the line called experiment if you know that's my motto it just helps that that is an amazing name for our company this is super saturated it literally says barrier support serum it is 30% glycerin. And I know that probably doesn't mean a lot to many people, but that's a lot of glycerin. I'll be honest, I don't really wear this under my makeup because this is why. Can you see that? It is a very, this is glycerin. It's a very sticky-like type product. Um, but I'm just gonna slather it up. But I love it overnight. I mean, if you are doing skin cycling and you have a 
barrier day where you're working on your recovery day, you're working on your skin's barrier function, you need this. I, in fact, I usually will cleanse my face, use this, then put on this. It's like magic. This is extremely hydrating. They also sell a mask um, that's like a silicone reusable face mask. And I like to use this really heavy and then put on that mask. And so it will slowly absorb all of that goodness into your skin. Not too long ago, this actually sold out as well. And there was a wait list, which is why I hadn't talked about it. Anyway, grab it if it's in stock while you can. It is so good. Now that same company recently came out with buffer jelly. Okay, so this is a really cool concept. They've kind of coined the term micro slugging. So if you don't know what slugging is, it's putting an occlusive on as your very last step in your skincare routine to hold all that moisture in overnight. So typically people use a little Vaseline, which is an occlusive, much like our makeup. Don't put on your makeup overnight. I'm just saying your makeup will do this during the day, but it is, it is literally a technique to keep your skin hydrated overnight, especially if you are dry in winter or dehydrated, it's a game changer. So this is called micro slugging because it has the same ingredients in it, has a, oh, I can't remember the percentage of um, petrolatum as well, but you just use like a drop of this and you spread it out across your face as the last step of your routine, I'm gonna be, this arm is gonna be so hydrated, and it will hold in all of that so you don't have any of that transepidermal water loss overnight. So it's just a really cool concept, I really like it, um, and it's good for those that maybe have tried slugging before and it caused you to break out because it was a little heavy for you. This has such a low percentage that it's not going to be as heavy on your skin. So I really like this. I've been liking it in the summer. In the winter, I probably will use something a little bit thicker because I do like to slug in the winter. But both of those are by experiment. Highly recommend both of them. And the avant-garde mask, which you guys have probably seen me in stories. I have worn that as well. Um, when I am super dehydrated, I will load up on the super saturated and put that mask on and watch some Netflix. All right. Since this arm is super hydrated, let's go to this arm and talk body products. I am one of those people who has been bad. <laughs> I have been taking care of my face for years now, but I am really bad about using the same principles to the rest of my body. It's like I ignore my body, right? So I've been noticing like in certain areas, I'm like, oh man, my skin, is just not looking its best, right? So I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna be better, and I'm gonna get something that's going to have some more long-term effects to my full body. So the first thing is, I started using a retinol body lotion. Um, Naturium is just a great product, a great line. If you are looking for anything, they probably I love this because it's fragrance-free. It's got encapsulated retinol, so it's not gonna make your like body peel or anything like that. It means it's gonna penetrate and then it's gonna do its job and it's not gonna cause any irritation. Alatoin, shea butter, sodium PCA, all kinds of great hydrators. So I've been trying to use this on days I'm not doing myself tanning routine so that, um, and man, one use and I can tell a difference. I've been really loving this one. Let's talk some more body products. I have not been using these consistently long enough to be able to show you before and afters yet, but I've been testing a few other products that if you look at their website and look at their before and afters, you're gonna be like, I need that. Wow, because people get some really amazing results. And if you do actually use it consistently, they have like a, I believe it's 60 day, money back guarantee if it doesn't work for you, which I'm like, that's awesome. And they're always coming out with new products and I'm like, ooh, I need that one. So it's Maley's is the brand and it's their body products. They have so many and they have some really cool technologies. So this one, I need to use this right now. B-Flex, this one is 
an arm cream. Let's see if I can use it over here with my big old scarf. Look how purple it is. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so all of these are designed for different areas of your body and they have different instructions as well. This one is just, you just rub it in. But it's cool because you can actually feel like the tightening sensation after you use it. Like you're like, oh great, that's working. It's doing something. So B-Flex is for lift and firm arm cream. Awesome. Um, B-Flat is firming belly cream. So this is awesome for post mom care and B Foxy is their inner thigh firming cream. This is the one I think that has a, has a different kind of directions for you. Apply it, apply a layer, let it set, don't rub it in and then it will dry to a soft finish. So I've seen some really impressive results. I haven't gotten those results yet cause I need to use them more. Um, cause some of these you oh yeah, the belly cream is the one that really heats up. I think this one just kind of tingles. This one heats up for sure. You want to wash your hands after, but they've got some cool ingredients and I'm curious if you guys have tried any that have worked for you because there's a lot of other ones for your bum. There's new ones for dark spots on your body that I really want to try. There's lots of good ones. So those are by Maylie's. Um, if you've tried any, let me know in the comments. Which one is your favorite? Okay, let's talk about something that I would say save your money on. <laughs> I feel like I always gotta throw one of those in there because you guys know I'm always testing so much stuff. I bought this once again, pray to Instagram ad. Now my daughter has been using it and she loves it. So it could be a really great alternative for tweens that aren't quite at the shaving stage. Okay, this is the Bleem Crystal Hair Eraser. Has anyone tried this and actually loved it? I'm not gonna say it doesn't work, but it is, I call it a crystal. It's just really smooth. It feels like silicone almost. And you're supposed to rub it in a circular motion. And it's supposed to remove unwanted hair painlessly, which, would be awesome, right? So my daughter says that she can see that it's working. Here's my experience. I've tried it in several areas and I feel like when you have very fine blonde hair, it doesn't do anything. But coarse hair, it will. But you have to like go on the same spot and rub for a while. Now it does exfoliate the skin there, I can tell, because usually it takes off my self tan but it would be very time consuming, for example, to use this on my entire leg area. Now, I think it would be cool to like, like, oh, I missed a spot maybe, like throw it in your bag if you don't wanna like pack a razor. I don't know. At this point, I think save your money. Maybe it works for some people. Maybe my hair is weird. My daughter likes it. I'm giving it back to her. <laughs> Um, so I think it's gonna be really good for her to use over her knees and whatnot until she starts using a razor. I've not allowed her to shave yet, but she thinks that this is like shaving and so she's all about it. And I'm like, go for it, girl. So I'm curious if you guys have tried it. Maybe I need to try it with their shaving cream. They say they have a shave shaving gel butter. So oh, there you go, the Bleem Crystal Hair Eraser. Take it or leave it. I won't be using it anymore probably. All right, I can't get through without at least mentioning my current, I, this is a new, yeah, I've only tried these a few times. Um, my Lilac Street Lashes, my newest obsession is these that I'm wearing today. These are French lace, if you can see. I'm surprised every time I try a new style, how much I like them. I have a bunch of new ones I've ordered as well. So French lace, I'll put my code down below. It is what I'm wearing today. In case you were curious, I'm still really loving all their styles and I still have yet to try them all. All right, let's talk nails. 
which is probably funny because I rarely ever have my nails polished. <laughs> I actually did those last couple of weeks and I just took them off so that I could test this brand for you guys, which was another one I had seen ads on, on Instagram. Now, they did send me this to try and I am thoroughly impressed. I will be honest guys, I'm not a much of a gel polish person because I feel like it takes forever to put on and then it takes forever to get off. Yes, they last a really long time, which is awesome, but most gels on me would still maybe give me five days and I would start chipping. So I was hesitant to buy yet another gel system. So this is manicurist we call it green flash so the green revolution the first led nail polish instant dry extra long wear and easy removal um biosourced hema free vegan and made in france another paris company but they're big on all these no endocrine disruptors no carcinogens allergens mutagenic or reproductive reprotoxic substances. Um, so there's certain things that they're eliminating out of this. Um, and there's no plastic. So I think it's cool. They have very beautiful line. Like everything is glass. Oops, I forgot my oil is in the other, my cuticle oil is in the other room because I'm still using it daily. So they sent me a couple of things. It's, it's typical of like every LED. There's a base coat and then the color polish and then the top coat right they have a beautiful led lights they send stickers so you can decorate it super cute right i was impressed at how easy these went on they weren't thick or chunky i didn't have a lot of like mistakes they have really nice brushes i was asked the color i was using and this was the color I was wearing uh, the last couple weeks. It's called Old Rose. Yeah, I'll wear this color right now. That would match me beautifully. So anyway, I got a couple of colors to try. I really wanted to just try an application, see how well it went on. It went on really easy. I'd say probably easier than some of the other lines I've tried just from Amazon or whatnot. And then I wanted to see how long it would last. So I didn't get my first chip for probably a week to a week and a half. By a week and a half to two weeks, I was starting to get to where the entire nail like would just kind of come off. The entire polish would come off, which to me, I was like, sweet. I got less to take off. And then it was like, that was like my cue time to take it off. But when it chipped, it wasn't super noticeable. I just had tiny little chips. It looked really good for over a week, which on me normally is not the case. I don't have the most <laughs> healthy nails ever. I use my nails as tools, which is why you won't see me with long nails. I can't type with long nails. I can't stand long nails. In fact, the reason I wanted to take them off is so that I could cut them short again because I cannot stand my nails long. And so I'm always using them and I'm always having to kind of reshape them because I damage my nails easily. I know I'm not the best nail model or anything like that, but they started chipping. So I was like, I'm going to use these. And so they send you the little clips in order to remove them. Um, so I just kind of soaked a little cotton round and stuck it on there. They were, it was less than two minutes. And so if you've seen their ads where they show the time lapse of the nail polish, just peeling right off, like it literally, like you don't even have to like touch it. It just like, you take off the cotton pad and it was like gone. I've never had an LED gel polish come off so easy. So even if it wasn't green, I would be like, sign me up. It lasted a really long time and it came off so easy that I'm not hesitant to be like, oh, do I want to do that removal? It wasn't 15 minutes. It wasn't even five minutes. I'd swear I left them on a couple minutes and just took it off to test it and it was already gone. So highly recommend. I'll be honest. Um, this was the, my favorite color that they sent me. 
these other two, I'm like, mm, I need more colors. I need more in the red, pink, nude category, because that's my jam. So I'm gonna have to order some more, but highly recommend that's manicurist system, the LED system, Green Revolution. It's as good as those ads make it out to be, which is not always the case. So speaking of Hailey Bieber and like trends, right? I really like her nail trend. I can't even remember what it was called now. I'm not good with that stuff, guys. Where it just, was it glazed donut? Was that what it was called? Where it's just like really nude natural nails with just a little bit of the holog holograph? No, hologram. <laughs> holographic <laughs> is that what it's called that like holographic can you see that okay so i originally saw that i think i saw this on an ad too guys this is the london town illuminating nail concealer now i know they have multiple colors of this this is the pink illuminating i'm just going to show you on one nail so you guys can see so i originally got this to get that overall look i really like this I really like this because for one, I can put it on my nails in two seconds, not have to worry about multiple coats, just do one. And it gives just enough like color. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the iridescence and that iridescent kind of sheen to it. That kind of purple, it reminds me of like Starlet, our illuminator, that purple iridescence undertone. And it just, it just looks good, but yet very natural still, which is kind of my go-to. So I love that, but I was like, well, what if I wanted like more of that holographic? I hope I'm saying holographic. Is that what it's called? Um, so I started looking into, the, into these powders. My gosh, you guys, I bought way too many. Okay, this, this, this polish probably shows you more so. See that holographic, that undertone where it's like looks dark, but then it's got that. This is Essie in Geek Chic, just because those, this is more of that duochrome. Is that the word I'm looking for? Somebody tell me. Um, I like the look, right? I think it's fun to do a clear polish or a very nude polish and then just a pop of shimmer. So like not as, metallic or chrome as this but the cool thing is if you get these nail powders you can put them over anything and each one's going to be a different color depending on what it's put over does that make sense so um i got a lot of these on amazon and i even got the little powder applicator things and all you do is kind of dip in while you're let me show you on one of Let's see if I wanted to make this more holographic. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's, I've got them everywhere. I got all of these, which are more of like the clear holographics are more metallic. I feel like this one reminds me more of what's in this. So I got all these powders and they are really fun because they're really quick. And all you do is take one of these bad boys let me show you. Let's see which one will show up on camera is the question. I'm just gonna pick one. Now be careful because this is just like pure powder and it makes a huge mess. So I'm just gonna take the cap because all the powder's in here. I'm trying not to make a mess on my desk and I'm just gonna take the cap and this little pouncy guy and get off that powder and then I'm just gonna push it on this since it's semi-dry now. Now can you see it? It's like the glitter factor, right? And then you take a brush, came with this kit, and you brush off excess, gosh, and all over your hands. And then you just use whatever top coat you want, and you just paint a top coat on. And then all of a sudden you have this like nice nude, but holographic catch the light kind of nails. I think it's fun. So it's kind of like this, but with more pow factor so i will link the ones i got because i don't even remember i think i got several um and the tools down below as well you can't find a polish in the color and the tone you want 
with those kind of, you know, duochrome, then you can, you can literally mix and match and come up with a million combinations if you have these fun powders. I honestly don't know if that's exactly how you're supposed to use them, but I saw somebody do a tutorial where that's what they did and I was like, sold, I'm buying some of those. If you're a nail artist, don't come after me. I know nothing about nails. All I know is what I like <laughs> and that's what I've been liking lately. It might be out of style by now, but I think it's fun. All right, enough about nails. Let's go to another lip product. I look like an idiot. Um, have you guys seen these straws? I've seen a couple of different variations. If you don't know, straws, a typical straw, right? When you drink out of it, it makes you purse your lips and it gives you, it can give you wrinkles around your lips. I am a straw drinker, always have been, probably always will be, but you know, unless you wanna get Botox on your upper lip to kind of re release that, if you wanna drink from a straw, you're gonna eventually get some lines around your mouth. So I saw this and it looked better than the one I'd seen previously, which looked like, um, a bow tie that you push your mouth over. Have you guys seen this one? So this one is Lipsy brand. Of course I found it on Amazon. And it is glass, which is the only thing kind of dangerous if you have it near Stanley. But um, it means you don't have to purse your lips. It just has a hole in one end. It comes with two. Especially if you're sitting at home all day like me, um, trying to drink your water. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> How do you know it works until you've been doing it for 20 years, right? But hey, it's worth a try if that's an area of concern for you. Good old fashioned lip Z straw. Okay, let's go back to Stanley. You guys know I have a love with Stanley, but I kept seeing all these accessories people were sharing. So first, this little pouch. Cute, right? I'm, I'll be honest, when I run into a basketball game with my kids, I usually either have my crossbody or I just carry this and my keys. So I like the fact that now I can just stick a few things in here and carry my, I always carry my cup. Never go to a game without a water. So I can easily put in one of my, my lip oils in here or, my keys or a credit card, some cash, and be good to go. And it's always just right next to me because I never go anywhere without my Stanley. But then I saw people sharing. So the only thing I don't like about, this is the 40 ounce Adventure Tumbler. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it spills. So I saw these, this set. Oh and it actually works. So, it comes with a set of, let's see, lay it off of this. So if, you, if you're a Stanley Tumblr lover like me, you might, oh gosh, I just got water all over me. Um, you might appreciate it. It comes with a set of like, has a plug there, here, and then this. I'm dripping everywhere. And you put it in this hole, and then you move this, and so the straw doesn't go here anymore. You move it to this opening. It's kind of confusing, but once you get it, you're set, and you don't have to take it off until you wash it. So that I've been loving, so I don't get any spillage. Now, my daughter and all of her friends have been wanting these as their basketball water bottles, so I finally grabbed myself one. It's already all banged up from baseball games, but... I finally grabbed this one, which is the flip top. And I've been reaching for it because I can like just sit it for when I like the handle, whoops, for when I like the handle and for when I like the fact that if it gets knocked over, it doesn't spill. I don't have to have any extra gadgets. It does still have a straw. Granted, it'll give me wrinkles, but <laughs> still has the straw. 
Um, the only downside is that this is a 30 ounce and this is a 40 ounce. So these do make me drink more water, but I've been liking this one as well. Um, my daughter just got a purple one for her basketball bag. And once again, Stanley keeps coming out with stuff I keep buying, right? We're on the subject of drinks. Um, gosh, this is another Instagram thing. <laughs> but I really like it. So I don't know if you guys have ever looked into tinctures. Is that how you say it? Tinctures? Um, I ordered this one after seeing an ad about it always being sold out and I really like it. So this is by Apothecary and it's called Take the Edge Off and it's a stress relief tincture dietary supplement. So. They describe this as a great alternative to a glass of wine. And I'm not a big drinker. I don't drink very often. The thought, the, the sound of a glass of wine at the end of a long, stressful day sounds amazing, but I get massive headaches with wine. So I don't reach for it. I don't want to wake up with a headache, right? So this is a great alternative I thought I would try. And I feel like it does calm me down and help me sleep better. So, um, so as you've got a lot of nerve, powerful tension relieving herbs, passion flower, skull cap, linden, and oat straw play with organic fruits, evoking notes of a delicate white wine that calms in a moment's notice. So all it is is just this liquid and you just put one drop, you can put one to two droppers in water. It says it tastes like wine, be honest, I can't really taste it. It doesn't taste like anything to me. Maybe I'm not putting enough in, but it says squeeze one full dropper in two ounces of water. I usually do that in like four ounces. Um, maybe take a couple of droppers. And this says, um, for instances of high stress, take up to three full droppers and you can do up to three times a day. I usually just do a couple of dropper fulls at night when I feel like I need something to wind myself down. And I really like it so far. Um, so that's by Apothecary. Again, great alternative to alcohol, in my opinion. I'm always looking for something that will kind of help my mind stop at the end of the day. Otherwise, I'm one of those people that tends to go to bed and like be thinking about my to-do list all night. Um, and then I can't sleep. So this kind of helps me relax and stop thinking about it. So if you're like me, this might help. Again, I've been talking way too much about skincare that all this other stuff I'm not gonna have time to get to. So let's go quicker. So I was recently asked about this phone case in my DMs, I believe. And this actually has, I've shared this before, and I used to share a different brand and I've tried a different one this time. So, so for the last couple of times, I had been using this one. This is a phone fin, um, but see how this leather, it like comes off over time. I love them, but the leather, bu the leather bugged me that it, it didn't last, right? It got sticky and gross. So I tried this one this time. This is called Momo Stick Flat Stick. Um, it works basically the same. The only problem is you have to push it over to unlock it and then push it up. I like that it can be like a stand. I need something to grip my phone on the back, but I don't want it to not be able to sit flat on the table when I want it flat. So this is the Momo stick and it basically works the same. I just had to get used to kind of pushing it over before I pushed it up. Now my phone case, I don't know if you can see that, is by The Cape, and I'm obsessed with their accessories. So let me show you. I won't be able to show you because I'm filming on my phone, but you buy the case and it fits special with this kind of attachment. So then you can have, this is like a crossbody that I can just carry my phone across my body, right? Okay, so that's, and they have all different styles from chains and different colors. They have 
the cutest accessories. I'm obsessed with them. Or you can take this off or you can put both on and it kind of just adds to your accessory. So let's see, we have tons of different styles, beads, all kinds of stuff. This one is cute because it's a wristlet. It's like a chain, a gold puka shell, is that what they're called? Um, and this braided chain, so same thing, but then you can just put it around your wrist and carry around your bag. I, they have even more accessories that go on the back of your phone case. They have all different colors of phone case, but that's from the Cape. They're super cute, especially if you like to be able to just throw your phone across to you and not have to worry about carrying it. You wanna make it a little bit more stylish. Speaking of style, one of the most, my favorite things I've gotten currently, recently, was when I got to go to our Saint conference, our reunion, and I was able to go to a leadership event and their gift to us was giving us permanent bracelets. So. I got this rope chain and this large link um, when I was in Texas from that event and it kind of spiraled me into the permanent jewelry train and I'm like, gosh, if you don't know, my lucky number is three. So I was like, I need one more. I need one more for my stack. And so I took my mom for Mother's Day and I got this classic chain with this um, little drop here. I think they called it ice. Um, from La La Links and La La Links is like a chain. Different people um, do it, but you can look, search for your area. And at least my girl here did pop-ups at different events and you can go make an appointment and get linked, which was a really special thing to do with my mom on Mother's Day. But they have so many cool things from anklets, necklaces, you can even get chains on your ears and rings. It's super cool. I thought it might bug me never being able to take them off, but I actually really love always having them on. And if it ever just happens to break or fall off, I know she'll just like, she's like, you can just bring it back and I will attach it for free. So super cool. Um, really recommend permanent jewelry if you have not jumped on the bandwagon yet. Speaking of jewelry, I have been obsessed with the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Pavoy brand. Um, which sell their stuff on Amazon, but have crazy good quality. So I saw someone talking about how everything is like gold plated and they just really have learned how to keep the costs down and they don't spend a lot of money on packaging or anything fancy like that. They just provide really affordable jewelry that lasts a really long time that doesn't ever tarnish or anything like that. So I know some of you guys have asked me ever since I re-pierced my second holes and pushed them through. Um, I've been wearing this set a lot because my second holes are still pretty sensitive, but these don't, these don't hurt them at all. And um, so I can link this chain, but I've gotten so many from this brand. So lots of just simple gold hoops, braided hoops, um, I got some other ones for my second holes. These like chunky little huggies. These huggies that have a little drop to them, which I, I can wear in the first or second holes. And then I really like these as well, which are fun. Little chain, or you can take off one and just have this simple hoop. So I will link up the ones I have, but all their stuff is super affordable and really highly reviewed, great quality. I haven't had anything turn and I've had some of these for a really long time. Summer, I can't go without at least showing one thing for my kids and these I know have been really popular all year. So these are the reusable water balloons. Um, you can get them on Amazon. They've got little bitty magnets in them, which mean they can be dangerous for little bitty kids. So don't let them choke Obviously anything with silicone is an asphyxiation <laughs> hazard and anything with magnets can be dangerous if swallowed. But as long as you're not chewing on these bad boys, they have these strong magnets and they're reusable. So you just dunk them in water and let the magnets go together and you've got reusable water balloons. So my kids have been loving these so much better, so much less mess than actual water balloons where you have to go around 
and pick up all of those pieces. So these are highly recommended for summer if you don't have them yet. Another thing I've been loving for summer is my kids' independence. I will take you back and show a picture or video of my cereal dispenser and then I love this guy. So this I saw on an Instagram reel. You put it in your milk jug. You can use it for juice, water, anything. It takes batteries, but then the kids can literally just put their bowl or cup up to this and it will dispense their milk. So I don't know about you guys, but I love when my kids can just go feed themselves breakfast. It makes it really easy. They, they can literally put their bowl under, dispense their cereal, and then go over, dispense their milk. And I don't have to worry about them spilling an entire jug of milk. So these came in a pack of two, and this one is the one I haven't used yet, obviously. It hasn't been too hard to clean. I was worried about that. I just kind of put it down in hot water and push, push this button and let it kind of rinse itself out every time I switch it to a new jug of milk. Other home favorites, and I'm telling you, I could do an entire video just on home favorites because I've been buying a lot of stuff for the new house, but this was actually a housewarming gift from my mom, um, Home Court. Have you guys heard of this brand? It's Courtney Cox. I mean, who doesn't love Courtney Cox if you loved Friends, right? So she has this whole line of home cleaners and I don't know, soaps and stuff. And they're so cute and they look good in my kitchen. I don't have to transfer them to another bottle. I've just been sitting these right next to my sink and I've got my countertop spray, um, dish soap, hand soap, and even hand cream, because if you're like me, every time you wash your hands, they feel dry and you immediately need to put um, lotion on. And this is the Scent CC, which it's like my middle son's little girlfriend's name is CC, so I was like, aw, CC. But it's one of their most, um, my mom says it's one of the most popular scents. It smells so good. like. It smells like I've lit a candle half the day when I just spray my island down and clean it. And everyone always walks in and is like, what's that smell? It smells so good. So I do recommend the scent CC by Home Court. So cute, right? I can't tell you how many of these videos I've done and keep forgetting to share this. Um, so this was actually a gift from Saint during one of the... I don't know, I think an incentive trip or something, but it's the Goosebumps Blankets. Um, this one is well loved. So don't look at its quality too well. I've washed it about a million times. This is a big tie-dye. I know it, it says Saint on one of the corners here. Is that not cute? I, try, I love this blanket. Every single trip I go on, in fact, we were just gone to basketball this last weekend for three days. I literally can fit this in my backpack with my laptop and my iPad, everything I need for work. And this is what I wrap up in to sleep at night because I can't sleep unless I have a blanket around me at all times. I've taken this to Mexico numerous times. This is like my travel blanket. It's light enough that you can use it in the summer, but it's like a giant adult swaddle blanket. It's incredible. The Goosebumps blankets uh, make a great gift idea too. If anyone is like me, needs my blankets, I'm always cold. If you saw, I think it might've been my last favorites video, I shared the Pura home diffusers. I currently have one, two, three, I probably have five in my new home so far. I love them. But when I saw they came out with a car one, I knew I had to grab one really fast. So. This is the Pura car. It's really cool because it plugs into your USB. It's motion activated and it has these special Pura car fragrances. So if you're like me and you just want your car to smell good all the time, like smell like a new car and your kids are constantly making it not smell that way, this is really fun. I will say it's pretty strong. I usually keep it at the lowest setting and that's plenty and I can usually turn it off and you can easily just push the button, turn it down, push the button, turn it off. Um, if it's too strong, it doesn't take much and I feel like it fills up the car so awesome. Again, I need new scents. I'm slowly getting my office set, getting there ready to go. This is something I've been using. I needed a new 
mouse pad for my desk. So this is the mouse pad. This is a place to hold your pen. And this right here, oh, you can see I had to unplug it. It plugs in and this charges your phone and your even your AirPods. So I even have an AirPod case, which you guys have seen. I've had my Andar case on there forever because I love to clip it to my keys. But if this is plugged in, you'd be able to see, you can put it right on here and it even charges in the case. So it's a wireless charger on this side. I'm obsessed with this. Again, another Amazon find, but it's been working so well to not have to have another cord. I love having less cords, right? Things I've been trying to do is get more organized above my desk. And I saw these on Amazon. And these are reusable post-it notes. Have you guys seen these? So they're like little silicone sticky notes. Okay, so you can stick it to anything. All right, it doesn't stick to my arm very well, but it sticks, right? So I've been sticking them to a board over there. It's stuck right to the drywall. And then it just has these little pins. So you can make yourself notes and then erase so I'll show you the picture of all of my to-do notes because I am a list maker. I always am writing stuff down and this helps me and I love erasing it when I get that task accomplished. You guys know I'm a big Laurel Denise planner fan. I've been using these for years now. Let's see if I can find a an organized um, month. Okay, so this is the, let's see, this is the vertical weekly all-in-one planner. I use this for everything, but I had never used their little like stickers and stuff, which this probably isn't a good example. I keep moving all my stickers to the next month. You can tell I use the post-its, I use lots of pins, but I love the fact that now they have these little stickers this is one big giant sticker where you can put in the times so they have these time stickers which you can put in the times really easily you don't even have to write them in or they have all these that are like check marked or whatever to-do list stickers which you can make a huge massive to-do list like i did here for different content ideas I can just check them off as I go. A lot of great stickers for your planner that fit them perfectly sized. And so I've been using a lot of their sticky note sets and these as headers, tabs, and whatnot as well. And of course, give me a good highlighter and good sticky notes that can fit in your binder. And I am very happy girl. Those are just a few of my organization loves that from my planner is no, I love attempting to stay organized. There are my spring and summer favorites. I hope that was helpful and you found something that maybe you can try and love as much as me. If you have any questions over anything I shared, I will put all of the links down in the caption below the video or drop it in the comments and I'd be happy to help. I'd love to hear if you've tried any of these things, if you love them as well. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Love you.